The log is off. How are you, mate? How are you doing? Yeah? This podcast again. Every time you oh. get in there first with it, oh, look at me, aren't I the big man? I'm the leader here. I just feel like there shouldn't... Because you're, you, you're always silent, and I, I need to fill it. You just you said that exactly the same last time you said, oh, well, I'll just let you do it. I'll let you be the first one to speak. You just can't help yourself, you and your, I, your fucking crazy ego. It's not ego. I panic. <laughs> <laughs> if you've gone quiet, I think something's gone wrong. <laughs> well, that's, that's what a lot of people say. I'm uh, I'm very talkative. <laughs> yeah, so okay, How you doing, I, I do apologise. Yeah, not bad. Um, been a long week. I, do you know what? I always think bank holiday weeks are longer than normal weeks. Uh, well, this is weird because I don't know what day it is now. It's uh, what are we? What are we on now? We're on like Wednesday. Wednesday. We had a weird day to record this as well for us because we're like yeah. sacrificing like our real lives to to put another episode out for the three people that listen. Yeah, um, and that's uh, well. Yeah. So actually, basically, actually, we could class this as like a one-on-one conversation with the listeners that we've got almost. Yeah, could we should just phone them up? Yeah, <laughs> just have a WhatsApp group. <laughs> so yeah, this is weird doing it on a Wednesday. So um, and it's quite early as well. Uh, so it's weird, and I think you're at work tomorrow. I'm at work tomorrow. So can't, can't get drunk. So uh, weird. So, so having said that, mate, we had something happen today, which is, hasn't happened to us. And I don't know if you can technically class this as going viral, but one of our YouTube shorts got 4,000 views. Wow. I I'm know. classing that as going viral. I think it's viral. <laughs> I have actually been keeping up to date with this, and we've had one of the best comments I've ever seen. It actually made me guffaw out loud. And it was in reference. You will have seen it. It was in reference to... Um, Game of Thrones, and it was I used to call it boobs and swords. Made this proper giggle. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if that was you, thank you. And do you want to be a staff writer for us? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think I'm at last um, virus free as well. I think the last few that we've recorded, I've had a, a virus, so I'm, um, so I'm virus not free. Not going to cough all the way through this one. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I feel in them. I am feel virus free. I've had the grandson again this week, and he's been ill. So next week I'll be ill again. Yeah, they're just little germ factories, man. Aren't they? Horrible, horrible. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. So good comments, um, and also uh, the so back to the week. So we're on the Wednesday. So you go back to work on the Tuesday. We're recording mm. this on a Wednesday. I'm yeah. going out on Friday afternoon. I'm lost. I'm like, uh, it, it feels like it's a Thursday, but it's not a Thursday. It feels like it's a Saturday. It's like, yeah, horrible. I know. I, I think because we normally record these on a weekend, either a Friday or a Saturday. So this feels really weird. Any um, any trips to the skip? Not this one, no. I can't even remember what we did. Although I did trim my bush. <laughs> <laughs> and then I chopped some hedges down as well. We did a, a, a long dog walk. Was that a bank holiday thing? Yeah, that's a bank holiday thing. It was it by a river? Yeah, what's well, actually it was, it was there you go. by the river? We bank holiday, <laughs> bank yes. holiday bonanza. <laughs> <laughs> so, as in true um, in true bank holiday style, though, it's also absolutely caned it down for the for the weekend. So, what you don't know, well, obviously you don't know because I didn't get any fucking card or message from you. But it was my birthday this weekend. Oh um, shit. Yeah, funny enough, I remember your birthday every single year. And every yeah, single my year, I send you something. Uh, that no, right? You can't have that. That's bullshit. Yes, I can. Yes, I, do I ever forget your birthday? <laughs> no, because right, tell. So tell how, how, hang on. So how can't I have it? <laughs> well, I'll tell. We'll, we'll put the context to it, Martin. What day is my birthday? Don't know. I'll probably forget it this year. No, you won't. What day <laughs> is years my birthday? New, New Year's, Year's Eve. Eve. Right. <laughs> so. So that if your birthday was Christmas Day, I wouldn't forget. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's like that's 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 a sh- shit excuse. 
Uh, do you not think I've got other things going on on New Year's Eve usually? Do you not think I'm preoccupied? But no, I'm thinking about you and I'm thinking about you being another year older. That's shit having your birthday on New Year's. Uh, do you know why? Because everyone messages you and they say this. Uh, as it's your birthday, I've organised some fireworks at midnight. <laughs> I get that about I, 20 times every, I, every new birthday. I've never sent you that. Mm. Never. Are you sure? I've never sent you that. Ever. Because okay. I think that's a shit joke. It is a shit joke, but I get it every year. Of the same people. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, so it's my birthday weekend. But usually on my birthday weekend, it's absolutely glorious weather. But unfortunately, this one's been a bit of a washout. It feels mm. like it's rained for literally a year now. An absolutely mental rain as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's like we've got we bought some um, new new. This is oh God, this is life in the fast lane again. But we bought some new um, plastic pots for the garden, you know, like feature pot things. Um, obviously, in true style, in true our style of not getting around to stuff for very long, for taking ages to get around to stuff, like having bathrooms fitted that's taken now sixteen months. <laughs> um, Have you still not had them bathrooms fitted? Still not fitted. No, still the gap. Fuck hell. Um, but the pots are now filled half full with water. That's how much rain's come now. Obviously, I haven't got around to drilling from. holes in the bottom either. So. <laughs> Yeah, it, oh, yeah. it was one of those rains the other day where you're sitting there and then you know and you're just both looking up each other, looking like, up each, like you're hearing it. You're like, end of the world rain stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we got um, so yeah, so it's been shit weather. However, we have had some spells of gloriousness, and this will lead me into something that I wanted to talk to you about. It's let me just put it into perspective. It's the Air Fryer Chronicles on acid. <laughs> right. Oh, hang on. Before you tell us this story, I've got some really bad news for you. Tell me. You can't, you, you can't use air fryers anymore. They're killing you. How come? So st- they've got that uh, forever chemical in them. Forever chemical in them? What's that? Yeah, you know that plastic coating that they put on shit and like when you Teflon. use it, it kills... I don't know what it's called, but like if it heats up, it kills you. So you're going to have to stop using the air fryer now. Oh, okay. I read it in the news. Oh, well, that's kind of pissed on my bonfire. Oh, you could just ignore it and get on me life. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, because the booze won't kill us, and uh, <laughs> me, me, me lifestyle won't kill us, so I may as well worry about the air fryer and stop using that. Fuck forever. Right, chemicals, speaking man. of um, speaking Sorry, of being yeah. killed, shall we try and go for this beer? Well, it's, it's, you it's tell a us bit... a story about uh, air I'll, fryer. I'll, I'll come back to it. <sighs> Well, right. let's get this cracked open because this is uh, this beer is looking good. So, what we got? We have got four fifty north, uh, four fifty north Brewing Company Luna Pies, uh, and this is a actually I don't even really know what kind of beer this is. It's a slushy XL smoothie style smoothie style sour ale with banana, marshmallow, chocolate, graham cracker, and caramel. I think the American is called... Is this American? Yes, this is an American brewery. So you know what annoys me already? Americans called Graham Crackers. Graham. Yeah. Do you know what a Graham Cracker is? It's... Yeah, I don't know how to describe it, though. It's like a salty cracker, isn't it? Like a saline cracker. Yeah, sort of, but not cheesy. But they're really yeah. nice with beer. They like they like eat them, but they're really good in things like cheesecakes and stuff. They use them all the time. Anyway, this is this. Uh, let's get this cracked open. Uh, there's a lot going on in this, isn't there? There's a lot of things. Ooh. Give us a give us a um, little showdown of the can art first, please. Yeah, it's. I'm not sure what a lunar pie is, but it's all very sort of 1950s retro. Almost cyberpunkish. Cyberpunkish. Uh, yeah. Do you know what cyberpunk is? Yes. It's like blokes with um, gear cogs on their knob and stuff. This has got nothing to do with cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they like cyberpunk's like where? Hang on, that's got me. <laughs> cyberpunk. Hang on. But cyberpunk is not when men have gear knobs on the dick. <laughs> I didn't say gear knobs, did I? I saw gear cogs. 
Oh, I, might have, I might have said gear. All right, that's fine. Then that, yeah, that sums it up. <laughs> well, they do, don't they? They wear like gear, like like st- <sighs> steampunk. Maybe that's what like, I mean. What do I mean then? Not steampunk. You know, like have you? Do you know the game Fallout Four? That kind of fifty. Oh, have you watched Fallout by? on the telly? No, because they hadn't followed the path of the game, and it annoyed us. Well, so, as someone who hasn't played the game, I. Started watching it, thought this is all right, then thought this is shit, and then thought this is really good. So I went through all the emotions. <laughs> Fallout, it's 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 a weird concept, like, but it was good. Are you sniffing this? Yeah, it's well, you were, colour. While you were wax lyricing about the uh, the car, and I had a little um, it's just, just I know I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself, right. Hang on, hang on a second as well. I need to. I, when I've been editing the videos, something's really annoyed us the last few episodes. What glass have you got? I'm going to drink it out the can. <laughs> what glass have you got? What glass do you think I've got? I think it's going to be a pine can, and I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> well, what size is the can? But this is the thing that's annoyed us. You've changed the rules over the last few weeks. You've never had a pint glass. And to... Fuck off. <laughs> I've also got some sad news. I smashed my only Ponzi beer glass. The, well, I've got my Ponzi beer glass back out. I've just realised, for anyone that's listening, they won't have seen me show up that uh, beer glass. But Right, let's get this yeah. poured. So this is a um, this is a smoothie-style sour, which are usually quite thick, but this one doesn't look that thick. It's well, a weird colour. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, this is a this is a builder, so be careful because this will spill. This could yeah, spill right? out the glass. Yeah, is right? it is right. Yeah, it is. So it looks like um, I would say it looks like I, I, I can't actually describe what it looks like. It it's, looks that, like that shit they give to old people when they can't drink properly. Yeah, look, uh, complete or something like that. Yeah. Whatever it's called. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, and it also has an aroma as well. What's what 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 what? Give it a sniff. I mean, there's one overriding Chocolate. smell. Are you joking? Banana. Banana. Hundred percent banana. I think it's more chocolatey than banana. Well, that's good because it claims to be both. What's the other one? No, well, it claims a lot. Banana, marshmallow, chocolate, graham crackers, and caramel. So. It also smells like petrol. <laughs> Mine doesn't. <laughs> doesn't that? I'm going in. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Well, that's curious. That is... Hang on. It's a strong taste, that. I can't stop smacking my lips. And I don't know if it's because I think it's absolutely brilliant or absolutely terrible. You get everything now, don't you? All the flavours are there, aren't they? Caramel as well. Mm. It definitely does what it says on the tin. I think it's the smoothie sour type, though, because you don't... Like, smoothie sours are usually, like, sort of fruity. And this is not fruity at all. Wow. I need to um, I need to take a quick picture of this for the old uh, Instagrammer, I think, and I'll get it posted up on the. It's also pretty weak, this one, by comparison as well. Um, only five point two percent. This it tastes yeah, but we, of five point three percent. Tastes like it's about fifteen percent, doesn't it? Well, I do a reasonably sensible one on on a, on a school night. On a week night. Mm. Oh, right. So, whilst we're um, whilst we're crouching through that. So, for my birthday, for my wife. Oh, yeah, happy birthday, by the way. Thanks, it was last week. Um, <laughs> so, for my birthday, I got a new air fryer. But, really? but it's a wood-fired air fryer <laughs> for outdoors. So have you That's, seen them? Have you seen them at all? I didn't. I don't understand. So it's a cross between a barbecue, a smoker, uh, and an air fryer. 
So you plug it in still, so it's electric. But it's also got like a hopper that you put pellets in to give it smoke. Where do you plug it in outside? Got a plug outside. Have you? Yeah. You not got a plug outside? No. Huh. Why would I have a plug outside? For your for your electric smoker uh, air front. <laughs> 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 yeah. So you plug it in. And um, and it does it. It smokes it as well. So I've only done one dish so far, which was gyros. Oven chips. Gyros or gyros? Heros. Oh fuck off! Well, that was sorry. That was really yeah. Uh, that was really hard, wasn't it? <laughs> Heros. Who do you think that's you how are? You, that's how you pronounce it in Greece. I'm desperately trying to think of a famous Cypriot, but all I can think of is the guy that does the dance. F- flatly. No, not flatly. <laughs> He's the Irish guy, isn't he? <laughs> Do you mean the uh, the dude and his son from uh, yeah. Britain's Got Talent? Stavros. Stavros, yeah. Is it Flatley? Stavros Flatley, yeah, I think that's what he was called, wasn't he? Is he really? Is that not I just a piss take on Michael name. Flatley? Yeah, because he's oh. Greece and he does river dancing. Ah, uh, so he's real name then. <laughs> Maybe being <laughs> outwitted by things on that Britain's Got Talent. Uh, that one possibly passed me by, I think. Uh, yeah, I hate those about that. Um, so yeah, so I've got this air fryer. So I've done Hiros gyros or gyros on it, um, but I didn't make Heros. it. But um, so far, so good. So I, unfortunately, it's rained every night since, so I haven't been able to get it out again. So as soon as I could, can, you not do it in the house? Uh, no, it's an outdoor one. Ah, oh. so it's that... uh, yeah, you've got to go outdoor. How, so David Beckham is promoting these at the moment, you know, because me and Bex were like, you know, good buddies and stuff. So whatever, uh, whatever I've got, Bex always wants. So, but apparently he, he loves would it. Literally promote anything if the price was right. Him. Well, he, apparently he thinks it's the best thing to slice bread. So yeah, because he's paid to say that, mate. That's, that's <laughs> how that he works. Reckon he is. Reckon it's paid promotion. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Have you got a Ninja Air Fryer? No, we've got a cheapy one. Well, I think it's cheap, yeah, but it's not as expensive this, as a Ninja. Because yeah. this is a Ninja, this outdoor one, but we've got a Ninja Air Fryer. And at one point, the missus was cooking chips for the gyros inside on the air fryer, and I was outside cooking the chicken on the... And all you could hear was the... They make the distinctive noise, and all you could hear was... Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> It's like RTD2. <laughs> and do you still have to do the old air fryer shake with that? No, one? no, it's like a it's like a griddle pan, but it's got a frying basket as well. Right, well, while we're on the subject, I need your opinion on this because I think it's really important. <clears throat> so, you know, barbecues, right? Are you okay with people having those gas-powered barbecues and calling them barbecues? So, I... A bit of a barbecue purist. I'm a Weber man. <laughs> Me too. Nice. That was a nice nod. That completely lost on the listeners, but that was a, yeah. No, so I'm a uh, yeah. So I'm a Weber man. So I'm I've always I got quite into barbecuing uh, on charcoal and like really enjoy it. And I've got a a low and slow smoker as well. You know, for like doing like pork ribs and stuff for like eighteen hours. Um, so. Before today, I would have said, nah, gas, nah, probably charcoal, You can if you can use it properly. However, this is obviously electric, so it's very, very similar to gas. So That's the next level, plugging a barbecue in outside. Yeah, and you can leave it outside as well. Well, plugged in? Well, not plugged in. I wouldn't leave no, it plugged in, like, but if you put it under like some trees or something, you can just leave it outside. So I think the true barbecue in... Is either a crappy one you've got from Argos and the briquettes. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I use them all the time. (laughs) (laughs) My carbon footprint isn't very good with uh, with food outside. With a barbecue, though, you've got a proper, you can really do some really good things on a barbecue. Yeah, I'm not asked. A couple of Richmonds, I'm done. Oh, you're not Richmond sausage, are you? You can't beat a Richmond in the air fryer. Well, I mean, Richmond's on the barbecue. A right? Richmond on the barbecue is not going to do the Richmond justice, I don't think. I think you're going to take from its purism. Yeah, because you'd have to smoke and no, no, because toss it literally, in or whatever you do. Nah, no way, because literally, when you put a Richmond on, 
a barbecue, the fat that comes off it is going to give you the biggest blaze you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> You're yeah, going to be setting the neighbours on fire with a Richmond. <laughs> so we live at terraced houses and out the back. Every time we have a barbecue, like everyone else seems to, you just smell it. Yeah. Ours is like people going, do we need to call the fire brigade? <laughs> just plumes of smoke. <laughs> because you're getting renowned, the washing in. You're renowned for your patience as well, aren't you? <laughs> and that, that's that's the problem. Because you have got to leave them for quite a while, haven't you? To them, yeah. For them to settle and just like yeah. do their thing. So After about I, five minutes, I'm like getting burgers I'm, on. Yeah. See, that's the that's the thing. You've got to wait for it. You've got to wait for it to get right. You've got to wait yeah. for the calls. Have you got... Um, have I ever? I don't know if I've talked about this before or not, but I do KFC on the barbecue. That's pretty good going, isn't it? What? So, got I've mastered. Or I did. I have it's a while since I've done it, but I mastered on a charcoal barbecue KFC. What you mean? You make your own KFC? Make my own KFC. With like delicious it's, twelve it's, herbs it, and spices. Yeah, yeah. And when you bite it. <laughs> You get the yeah, crunch. Mine does that as well. Yeah, you get the crunch, not the carbon. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't just go to Asda and buy cheap burgers, cheap sausages, and some of them things on sticks that always fall off. No, no, I like to get. I like. Uh, I like doing different things. Shall I tell you what else is really good on the barbecue as well? Banana. Banana. <laughs> Bananas. Bit of tin foil. A banana is. <laughs> Bit of tin foil. Cut down the... I, I thought I did. <laughs> Until you did that. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> banana. <laughs> it's those. Uh, key... Martin made a squeeze at either end. <laughs> it's those gear knobs. <laughs> um, uh, no, like you get a banana, split it down the middle on some tin foil, Nutella. Peanut butter, marshmallows, bit of Nutella over the top, wrap it up, bob it on them. Nah. Don't take it out of the skin. In the skin. Delicious. I don't even think I'd try that. Why? Have I not just sold you that perfectly? No, because, I, well, as we've already discovered, I use the disposable ones and you get 30, 30 minutes to an hour tops out of them. I'm not getting dessert in. Yeah, fair point. Mate, just buy a cheap kettle barbecue. They're like you can get the cheap kettle barbecues for like fifty quid. Yeah, I should. Because by the time you bought a a disposable, what's a disposable cost? Fifteen quid. No, fifteen quid. I I like a fiver. Are there? Yeah. So it's only it's only a hundred. No, oh shit, it's maths again. Don't do maths. So ten barbecues, you've paid for a kettle. Yeah, don't have ten barbecues in, in, in the year in Britain though, do we? Yeah, I suppose. And also see this is why like I've got this smoke where I've got it's brilliant and it used to be brilliant because if it was a really nice night, I'd stay up like till like two o'clock in the morning tending me calls and waiting and monitoring the temperature and getting me vents just right and oh keeping it get all my but, thermometers out and everything. Have you not ate by two in the morning? No, it's for the next day. So oh, I'd go wow. to bed. Doing I'd like go proper to proper prep. Yeah, yeah. So then I'd go to bed, get it on, leave it a little while, make sure it all settled down and everything. Get me meat on it. Um and, and then put my sausages on. No, get me meat on it and uh, let it let it the temperature always drops so you get a crash, so get me temperature built back up again, let it stabilize, have a few beers, get a bit drunk, then go to bed, set me alarm for like six or seven in the morning, up again, downstairs, check it out, see what's happening with it. I got a thermometer, a Bluetooth thermometer, which gives us a graph of how the uh, thing's going. Got a temperature probe in my meat and a temperature probe on my calls. I, I, you sad twat. <laughs> to, do you know the worst thing is when it goes wrong and you have you know and you have like shit food. I bet <laughs> when you're not thinking about that for weeks. Are you? Yeah. You're like, when it's good, that's in there, isn't it? <laughs> when it's good, it's brilliant because you spent all that time doing it and they've like researched me rub, all that sort of stuff. 
so and when it works, brilliant. When it doesn't work, you were devastated. I once did some. Um, I once did some. What was it? It was a. I think there were beef cheeks on it. And uh, I think there's a <laughs> joke in there, isn't there? I didn't want to do be that. <laughs> you researched oh. your rub on your beef cheeks. <laughs> I once put my beef curtains on, and uh, there was, uh, yeah, they were rubbish anyway. So, yeah. So anyway, so me and David Beckham, boom, me and him were going off, and we wood smoke, we wood electric smoking together. I disapprove. I've got so <clears throat> while I'm on my birthday, I've got another. Oh my god, that's sorry. I've just <clears throat> that's just gone down the wrong way. Um, I've got another birthday treat coming up on Friday as well. Friday night, I'm going. To, have you? Do you ever watch the Great British Menu? Um, is that where like two chefs are like trying to get their dish on a menu? Yeah, but there's regional like, heats and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, I used to. I, yeah, I have seen it. Yeah. Did you ever see that guy that had the crazy hair? And he's like a rocker, Michael O'Hare. He's called. No, I don't know. Uh, he does like uh, he does like splats and splurts over his plate and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, so anyway, I'm going to his restaurant on uh, on Friday night. Where's that? Uh, Leeds. All right. So uh, I'll, I will re- will report back on what we uh, what we have. I tell you what we'll do when you report back. I'm going to guess how much everything was. The bill. Yeah. Oh, no, don't do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Right, okay. <laughs> I don't even I think this... David Beckham's going with you. <laughs> oh, that's why I think I'm David Beckham, but then I realise I haven't got his bank balance. Mate, we went out for food on uh, Monday to a restaurant, and it was 80 quid, and I nearly passed out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but 80 quid for three of you? Yeah. That's, that's now, that's cheap. It's not. Did you have, did you have food, uh, beer in that drink? I had um, one or two pints. And Sarah had a wine, I think. Oh, wine's about four billion pounds. <laughs> I know. Can I have a large wine, please? Yes, that's 32 pounds. Huh? But, but you know what I was thinking, though? Like, basically, it was an Italian restaurant, so it's pizza and potato skins. And they're like the cheapest things in the world to make, aren't they? I've got a wood-fired pizza oven as well. <laughs> that's, a, that's a special kind of uh, fuck you as well. They are hard to manage. First pizza yeah. I did, got it all up, made it all out, made me dough, got all my pizza top and on, got me little, you know, the paddle. Got me paddle to take it off the bench. Yeah, I couldn't get it off the bench. <laughs> Could you put, a, like, a, a good fellas in that? Like a frozen one? I wouldn't have thought so, no. Mate, it's about 500 degrees. <laughs> Maybe just put it in for a little bit, then. <laughs> yeah, reduce the damn kicking time. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're like, really, they get really hot. It's only like a tiny, like, it's an uni. It was like one of the first unis. So it's only like, it's like literally room for one pizza in it. Could you but do a French get, bread pizza? When you get, oh, I remember French bread pizza. I haven't had a French bread pizza in years. Yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. Can you still get them? Yeah, you can, but they're called uh, pizza subs now. The same thing. Turn into Yankee Yankee. Doodle Dandy. (laughs) Speaking of which, Mm. how's this going down this old uh, custard? So, it's all right. It's not what I was expecting. It's it's the flavors of it are okay, but it's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Do you know some of these, right? And this might sound weird, but they don't have to be beers, do they? You could have this with no alcohol in, and it would still taste the same. Or would it? No, I don't think it would. Would it not? No, because it's still brewed in the same way as beer is, isn't it? I have no idea. So did they just brew it like beer, then just hide a load of shit in? 
No, I think the brewery is slightly differently, and I think they ferment them cold as well and different things like that. So I think it's a different process. But to be perfectly honest, I'm not really sure how the brew is sour. I, that's one of the things. I really like beer, and I know sort of what goes into it. I know what people do, but I'm not actually that interested in the brewing process at all. Yeah, neither am I. Like, I like drinking it, but there's a lot of hard work goes into brewing. Like yeah. barbecuing. <laughs> <laughs> not in my house <laughs> so I imagine right. if I was a brewer you would just get a, a weak water you'd get uh, Tesco, Tesco value lager are you drinking out of a pint glass no it's like a pint glass. highball glass oh. is it a pint glass that's like a squash glass yeah yeah mm. um yeah this is a well, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask. Let, let's get straight to it, shall we? For this one, Dan. Four Fifty North Brewing Company, um, in combination with Southern Grist Brewing Company, Luna Pies Slushy XL, a smoothie style sour ale with banana, marshmallow, chocolate, graham cracker, and caramel. Is the lager on or the lager off? Hang on, my thing's not working. Uh, it doesn't matter because when you record it doesn't actually come through on the recording anyway oh, it does on the video <laughs> uh, the log is off <laughs> do you think we should need, we need to repeat that again yeah Dan Slushy XL Luna Pies is the logger on or the logger off the log is off. off did you hear that no <laughs> uh, the log is off <laughs> technology shite. <laughs> Everyone's just like that. What? What? Just dead it, it came into my ears. <laughs> I bet it did. <laughs> <laughs> so the log is off. So the I'm surprised. Is off, yeah. This is close to me for being a log is on. It's nice. However, I think if we'd had this in episode, in, in season one, episode two, I would have been put off forever. You'd have gone. You'd have gone, wouldn't you? Mm. You'd have been like, take, been me, take me back to a Camden Pale. Yeah. But there's something about these beers that taste of other things. I'm starting to like really quite enjoy now. And what did you say right in the very first episodes about your thoughts on beers that tasted of different things? I thought it was stupid. I hated it. I believe you called people that indulged in that sort of thing cunts. I, I might have used that word, yeah. <laughs> but now I'm that. So <laughs> it's a shame we've retired the beer beer snob buzzer, really, because you'd be you'd be going off the scale. I know. I think we should maybe bring that back because I might be the person who's the beer snob now. Beer snob buzzer, and maybe a um, maybe a, a barbecue snob buzzer. Someone someone did request we bring back the piss scale and piss scale in the comments a few episodes ago. Well, I tell you what, you don't. You wouldn't be able to put that fucker on the piss scale, would you? Because you just run out of things to compare it to. Yeah, There's only so yeah, many. Have you, have you got a fire in your house? No, I. Is that your smoke alarm going off? No. What is it? <laughs> Can you hear beeping? Yeah, it sounded like your smoke alarm was going off. It's gone now. It's probably this fucking media board. <laughs> <laughs> You're not using the David Beckham Ninja Wolf Iron Smoker in the house, I guess. <laughs> that was brilliant. You, it, because you can't hear because you got your headphones on, you literally would have burned alive there. <laughs> um, right, on that note, mate, this has been a weird one for us on a Wednesday afternoon, but enjoyable nevertheless. Um, let's. Um, regroup and get back to our normal pattern although i think we're almost coming to the end of the season aren't we i think we'll have to wrap it up at some point and do and do the next season we decided that um maybe we'll go out on a special um we did ask for yeah. some help deciding what the special might be but nobody has come back to us yet one so person maybe... did who was actually me so <laughs> <laughs> however so, now we've gone viral now we're viral knows? Maybe we can get some um, uh, some feedback. So, 
uh, the three options were the three strongest spears that we can find. Yeah. Um, the three three imperial stouts, regardless they'll be they'll be heavy, but regardless of what they are. And I think the third one was the three worst beers that I've that had, you've had. Yeah. That that we could get again. I kind so, of want that one, you know. So the other option is that maybe we do two from each, but that's gonna be a long podcast. That's gonna be a uh, that's gonna be a New Year special again. Yeah. And I think we're probably a little bit far off this, but someone also requested that we do a live session and people could drink along with us. Yeah, that'd be good. Something for the future, I think. So, so yeah, if you're out there, so comment one, two, or three. The three strongest, the three three Imperials, or three of the worst, and uh, that'd be interesting. And talking of um, virals, you can get us on all of the social media platforms at the Log Is Off Podcast. Um, we are trying our bestest to. Um, uh, to engage as much as possible so any followers will be greatly appreciated yeah and thanks to everyone who has liked and commented already um, we look for the gems in the uh, in the episodes to do a short so um, I've got a feeling that this one might be ripe with uh, a few little <laughs> snippets so yeah um, and on that note happy Wednesday and I'll yeah. see you on Saturday and happy birthday mate it's it was last week. The log is off.